This forecast is powered by Comfort Now, comprehensive heating and cooling solutions for Atlantic and Cape May counties. And as we take a look on our Glen Insurance Cam in Atlantic City from earlier on this evening, gorgeous stuff out there, bright sunny skies, and I think that was the case pretty much for everybody, pretty much for all day as well. And that had me excited. 58 our high temperature at the airport in Ake Harbor Township. Doesn't look like we had any kind of sky conditions that disappeared. Sunny skies, clearly. You don't need this graphic to tell you that. Dew point of 21. Very dry air over the area. 49 right now in Philadelphia. 42 on the boardwalk in Atlantic City as well as Scranton. 40 out in Pittsburgh. 39 for the Erie area. Now, I want you guys to pay close attention to where these temperatures go over the next 36 to 48 hours. Man, are we ever going to see a difference. Tomorrow morning, as you guys are getting up and getting your day started, you're going to be waking up the temperatures in the lower 50s. By the afternoon, you're going to start to see some yellow creeping up on the map. Lower 60s for some of you. Cold front at this point is still out to the west. The rain starting to arrive at this hour from southwest to northeast. Then the cooler air starts to plunge down into our region. By the time you wake up on Friday morning, we're looking at actual air temperatures in the 20s. Your wind chills, when you factor in gusts northwest at 25, 30 miles an hour, it's going to feel like we are in the teens. And I'm going to show you that in a second, but let's show you what's going on with our precipitation. Our storm is now taking formation well down to our southwest. That energy is coming out of Illinois. It's going to be moving into Indiana and the Ohio Valley. Here's the northern piece of this, and this is going to bring some snow. Michigan, northwest uh, New York. I was going to say Kentucky for a second. Man, no, no, that's not going to be the case at all. But it's still going to be away from our area tomorrow morning. We could actually wake up to some sunshine, but the clouds are ultimately going to win out. And then the rain gets here, I'd say mid to late afternoon. All right, it's going to start as a chilly rain. It'll be steady for some of you. And look at the uh, changeover to snow in the higher elevations of Pennsylvania. The Poconos could pick up a couple inches of snow up there. And then this is going to continue to move down to the south. And as that cold air rushes in, this particular model wants to change over everything to some wet snowflakes on the back end. And I'm open to that idea. I've mentioned that a couple different times. It just really depends on how quickly that cold air filters in from the northwest. 38, mainly clear skies tonight. It's cold. We got plenty of stars out there. The clouds really won't start to materialize or really increase to a point where it becomes gray until tomorrow mid to late morning. 60 degrees. Afternoon showers will eventually arrive. We'll have south-southwest winds at 10 miles an hour, and that's what's helping bring the numbers up. On your Friday, 42. A brisk sunshine. It is going to feel like winter. So you better unearth those winter jackets. I know we've all just stored them away and whatnot, but you're going to need them. I want you to understand where this cold air is coming from. All right, we'll zoom all the way out and take a look at our globe and notice it is round. It is not flat or anything like that. Um, here's the North Pole. See the, the, the vibrant colors of uh, purple and pink? Yeah, that's our air mass. And we're going to have a direct funnel from the North Pole come all the way down into Canada. By tomorrow morning, that cold is over Duluth and Minneapolis and Fargo. It's going to continue to push to the south as we go into your Friday morning. Here's that rain snow line, that zero line, the 32 degree temperature line moving to the southeast. So by the time we wake up on Friday morning, this is what it's going to feel like on your skin. So actual air temperatures in the upper 20s or lower 30s and then you factor in gusts out of the northwest to 25 or 30 miles an hour, and this is your wind chill, feeling like 17 in Hamilton, 15 in Woodland Township, 19 in Toms River, 18 Seattle City, below 20 even for Cape May. So definitely bundle up. Now your seven-day forecast is going to show you a chilly Saturday, partly sunny skies, warming back up briefly on Sunday and Monday, and then things kind of get interesting. I alluded to this. In my morning block, I talked about the potential for some kind of storm to develop. It definitely looks like we have the cold air in place. It definitely looks like we're going to have some kind of moisture source coming in from the southwest. You marry the two together, and that is why I have a wintry mix in my forecast for Tuesday. The timing is crucial. The cold air in place is crucial. 
I'm not going all in on this idea yet because look, we have one, two, three, four, five full days to get through before the potential gets here. So I'll say it. We're going to look at it. We're going to watch it. We're going to wait for a trend, a consensus to develop, and then I will issue my thoughts on it. Have yourselves a great night.